I'm J. Rachel Edidin, and I'm half of J. and Miles Explain the X-Men, a weekly podcast all about the ins, the outs, and the retcons of comics' greatest superhero soap opera. Also, J. and Miles review the X-Men, which you're watching right now, where we walk you through the X-Books that come out in any given week. Now, this week, Miles had a prior engagement, so I am flying solo here at Books with Pictures in Portland, Oregon, to take you through the books of May 18th, 2016. We've got an all-Wolverine week. Let's go. First up, we've got all-new Wolverine number eight, written by Tom Taylor, with art by Marcio Takara and colors by Jordan Boyd. This continues uh, Takara and Boyd's run, which began with number seven, a one-shot. Looks like they're taking over as the new ongoing artists on the series, which I feel pretty good about. I'm gonna miss Lopez and Navarro. Um, Takara is, is great, but he isn't quite at that level yet, and I feel like Boyd's got a ways to go on colors. There's sort of a a gradient smoothness to the way he colors faces in particular that really kind of throws me off. But again, I'm judging this by what I fully recognize as a fairly unreasonably high bar based on the superlative previous art team. So there's that. Story-wise, issue eight jumps into the second arc of the series. Uh, Wolverine, Laura Kinney, is now living with Gabby, who's the, the last remaining of her clones, or at least the last one sticking around. And they get pulled in to a S.H.I.E.L.D. adventure that I'm not going to go into the details of because there were a couple really, really amazing splash page reveals that I would like you to be as surprised by as I was. Uh, suffice to say, it's delightful and to my surprise and delight, All New Wolverine is starting with number seven and now it looks like continuing into number eight in the next arc, kind of taking a place as the fun book of the X line, which is something I really wasn't expecting. Typically, Laura has been at the center of much, much darker stories, and typically books titled Wolverine have been much darker. So it's a particular pleasure to see this one kind of forging its own path in a way that feels like, again, a very natural evolution of both character and title, but is much, much more firmly continuing to establish Laura as her own Wolverine, both in name and, I guess, in title of the book and what, that, what exactly that means. This is also going to, this arc it looks like, is also going to be finally putting her in contact with Old Man Logan, which is going to be an interesting development. We're not quite there yet, but looking forward to seeing where it goes. Speaking of Old Man Logan, our second book this week is in fact Old Man Logan number six, written by Jeff Lemire with art by Andrea Sorrentino and colors by Marcella Maiolo. This is the second issue of the Kilhorn Falls arc in which Logan goes to a town in East Jesus Nowhere, Alaska to basically protect the kid version of the woman who would have, in another timeline, grown up to be his wife from anything bad ever happening to her with intentions that are less creepy than they could be. Basically non-creepy, I still think they're kind of creepy, but you do you. Um, and is set upon by Reavers, who have, have come and tracked him down. Now, I have been pretty hard on this book historically, and particularly on Sorrentino's art. But it is really, really growing on me here. Sorrentino's sort of almost mannered style, um, the graphic quality of his illustration, and God, Maolo's just incredibly careful use of, of saturation and palette are a stunningly good fit for this story, for just sort of the bleak exhaustion of both Logan and his setting. Um, it's a gorgeous book. It's, it's kind of unpleasant to read in the sense that it's very clearly one of those stories that is not going to have a happy ending. And that's basically about a lot of bad things happening one after another. It's a little like reading The Road, but The Road's also a really good book and so is this. So yeah. Pick of the week was tough this week because both books were really, really good. Maybe I'm trying to make up for previous bias. Maybe it's because I have sort of predisposed myself to liking Bleak after deciding this morning to reread a ton of the Marvel Noir titles, but I'm gonna have to go with Old Man Logan number six. It's a beautiful book and it conveys something that I feel should be absolutely fundamental to this title and character. Um, it's also the art team at their absolute, absolute best and a really tremendous fusion of, um, of visual and, and narrative storytelling. Panel of the week is also from Old Man Logan number six, um, obviously again biased this week, but it's, and it's not a panel, it's, it's actually a spread or a chunk of a spread of Logan walking through a hail of bullets 
with the body language and the pace that you would expect of a guy walking through a, little, a literal hailstorm or heavy rain. Again, I think part of the greatest strength of Sorrentino and Maiolo's art on this is how well they convey that combination of tenacity and exhaustion that are sort of the signature mix for this character. And there's nowhere that that's clearer or better conveyed than in this spread. With two Wolverines down, that is it for this week. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen here, but think it would be way better with a second host and no faces, check out our podcast, Jay and Miles Explain the X-Men. New episodes go up every Sunday at jayandmiles.com, also on Google Play, iTunes, and Stitcher. This week, we're going to be taking a break from our very, very long Inferno coverage um, to get you up to speed on the X-Men cinematic universe and on the guy who is all set to destroy it, in Apocalypse for Beginners. That podcast, these video reviews, and everything at jandmiles.com, including visual companions to every episode, essays, fan art, recaps, and more, are brought to you by our Patreon subscribers. We are an entirely listener-supported project. Those are the folks who let us stay on the air and ad-free and keep making cool stuff. And if you want to join their ranks, which we would absolutely love, you can do that at the link either above or below this video, depending on where you're watching it. Meanwhile, see you in the movies. Hey, Katie, you want to come do a tag with me? What do you want to do? I, I don't know. I, tag, I... Mm -hmm.